Welcome. In this session, we would understand the time zone calculation. Now, this has been a very important question and a question where most of the students are off and on confused as to how to do a good time zone calculation. The simplest way I would recommend is understanding this diagram. So what we have is zero degree. This zero degree is known as the prime meridian or the Greenwich meridian. So this runs through your London and you have the zero degree. Now when we say the time zone at this point is taken as a reference time zone. This means anything that lies within this range would be part of it. So when we talk about earth, earth rotates on its axis which is known as rotation and that takes place in 24 hours. So this 360 degrees is completed in how many hours? 24 hours. That means in 1 hour how many degrees are moved? In 1 hour we move 15 degrees and that's how we have drawn this diagram. So we have 0 degree, then we have 15 degree, 30 degree. With every alternate line, we have marked the values to make it simplified. Now for this 0 degree, anything that lies between 7.5 degrees west and 7.5 degrees east would have a same time zone. So that's how we understand the idea of time zone first of all. So that's not exactly on the 0 degree, but the range between plus 7.5 and minus 7.5 would be the range where you would have the Greenwich time or the uh, prime meridian time that would be followed. All the countries lying east to it would have a time zone which would be higher than the Greenwich time or more than the Greenwich time and here you would have the time which would be before the Greenwich time. So the people in the west I can say have a bonus time. In simple words, I can say they have a bonus time. That means at the time, person here at 90 degrees west, for example, let's say is doing lunch. At the Greenwich, he would be ta taking, sorry, at, at this point, let's say he's doing his breakfast. At the point of zero degree, he would be taking his lunch. And let's say at 90 degree east, he would be taking his dinner. So the person in the east has already, is already taking the dinner. However, here the person is taking breakfast and he still has the whole day left. So he has a bonus time with him. So that's the way you can understand on the west side. However, whenever we move towards east, we gain. The time, however, when we move towards west, we lose the time. There is another important way to remember it that is EGA or WLS. East gain and add, west less and subtract. So that's how, that's the basic abbreviation I tell all the students to remember. Now, let's some, solve some quick numericals based on this. Let's say a person is on 90 degrees west. The time here is... 2 p.m. He tends to move to 30 degrees west. What would be the time there? Now in this case, what I need to know? With every line, there is one hour change because each line denotes 15 degrees in this diagram. So you have one hour change that is there. So here from 1 p.m. we are moving towards east. So we are gaining and we are adding time. So it would become 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. So I can say a person who is at 60 degree west, if the, sorry, at 90 degree west, the time is 2 p.m. At 30 degree west, the time would be 6 p.m. That's one new way of the questions that could be put up. The other way of solving the same question is I can take a difference of the De uh, latitude, uh, longitudes that is 90 degrees minus 30 degrees which gives me 60 degrees okay now for 15 degrees you have one hour so for 60 degrees how many hours you would have you would have four hours in hand and therefore you are moving towards eastern side so 2 p.m plus 4 so that gives me 6 p.m so it would give me 6 p.m there is one way or one kind of numerical that's this 
the other kind of question could be if the time here is 2 pm and on time on this latitude is 5 pm if i know the time where you have 2 pm you have 90 degrees west what would be the longitudinal extension that could be seen at the time where the time is 5 pm again how do i calculate it i shift towards eastern side so i have 90 degrees west i do it as uh, 75 degrees west 60 degrees west and 45 degrees west so similarly i can say at 45 degrees west i would have 5 pm as my time so that's one very simple with methodology of solving the questions where we have we are moving towards east now in the same scenario let me move towards west so when i am moving towards west i am losing my day so let's say if from the same question at 90 degrees west my time is 2 pm what would be my time at 150 degrees west so it would be 1 pm 12 then you have 11 am and 10 am so that's how i say moving westwards i am ahead so at this point i would have a breakfast here and a lunch here that means moving westwards i have bonus time with me i still have the whole day to spend so whenever you are moving westwards you would have or witness the same phenomena again so let's say you are moving from east you already had your dinner you came through flight to somewhere in the west at this time you might have the time for your evening snacks and you would have your dinner again because you are moving westwards and you still have the bonus time in hand so that's how we calculate moving westward so we have understood how we understand the time moving eastwards and moving westwards the next next important thing here is understanding the role of zero degree meridian so this zero degree meridian has nothing to do with date changes that we would understand totally in a separate lecture where we will be talking about international date line here the sole idea is crossing this international uh, sorry crossing this prime meridian eastward we have the eastern hemisphere that is defined and here we have the west latitudes longitudes that are defined so you have the western longitudes that are defined and the eastern longitudes that are defined towards the east of zero degree meridian so that's how we understand the basics of time questions or time zone calculations are very very important questions questions could come up by naming the country, uh, cities like say the difference between london and chennai is so and so so how do we calculate the time the present time at London vis a vis a present time at uh, Chennai. So that's how we work around. This was a kind of very simple explanation to help you understand the basics. And we also have a diagram here to support you. So as we go towards east, as we said, we would lose time and towards the west, we would have bonus time. So you would have extra time and you would have the same activities that you would be able to repeat throughout the day because you still have the whole day to spend there. So that's how we understand the basics of time calculation. We would be understanding the difficult calculations of time zone, including the flight parameters in a short while. So stay tuned. Have a great day.